My name is Heather Alpers. My mom um, and dad divorced when I was a year and a half. You know, throughout my whole life, um, up until I was, you know, in my 20s, I just remember being, um, just feeling like there was something wrong with me. And so in high school, my best friend at the time, she invited me to come to youth group with her. And so I started going to youth group. And that's when I first started encountering the Lord. Um, and I, I desired to, um, to have that walk, that Christian walk. I started, um, you know, dating for the first time at 16, uh, 17. I ended up um, sleeping with somebody and um, I was a Christian and I, I didn't understand how I could have done that. You know, I fell into sin and I went up to the altar and I remember just laying it before the Lord and saying, you know, I don't want to do this. Um, I was seeking love and my dad wasn't around. I was seeking love, affection, but my, the summer before my freshman year of college, I got pregnant and uh, it was just an under, you know, an unspoken thing, get an abortion. And so that's what I did. And then I realized later how much that affected me. Things started spir spiraling out of control. Um, I remember like the first time I started using pills and it was helping me get through college. I ended up going to my first treatment center and it was just a 30 day treatment center. Um, I got out of that treatment um, facility and I, two weeks later I was pregnant. Uh, but I, I knew I wasn't going to have an abortion. I, I knew that wasn't an option for me. And so I started my, this life, um, this new life for me and my baby. But I got lonely and I started drinking. And then I, fa I found meth. You know, I know I was trying to fill a void, you know, and, and God was pursuing me the whole time. I mean, he was, and he gave me so many opportunities just to turn to him and I became homeless. I was living in my car, saying I was going to treatment, not going to treatment. So I have my bachelor's in communications. I have my master's in elementary education. I was gonna be a teacher. I mean, I had all this, these plans and yet I got into such a place of darkness that I truly thought that's how it was gonna end. And then finally, like all these people kept bringing up Teen Challenge. I remember thinking a couple months into the program, I'm actually in the will of God. God has protected my heart so much and healed my heart so much. God still has a plan, you know, and he is still faithful and um, I can trust Him. I can trust Him no matter what. For me, it's not even that the outsides of my life are being restored, but it's there's truly been an inner restoration that's happened, you know, within my heart.